simplicity. Lord, make me simple, for I have become too complicated. Take from me the vain dreams of sophistication and status, and give me in return a desire to be shaped by the service of others. Take from me the desire to accumulate or hoard, and give me in return a decluttered life and a simple spirit. Help me to be content with what is and with whom I am. Help me to delight in what I see, what I hear. Help me to appreciate the people I know well. Help me to see the stranger's grace. Give me your gifts of straightforwardness and clarity. Lead me into integrity. Pull me from the deceits of shame and let me become wholehearted and transparent that when people see through me, they might glimpse your trace. Welcome to week six of The Big Read. This week we're thinking about connecting prayer with virtue, with the virtues that we may or may not have, those qualities of character, those good habits that we might have acquired over the years and which stand us in good stead when life gets difficult or when we need to do something that maybe isn't necessarily that easy to do or may seem impossible. I'm thinking of things like patience and courage, but also things like wisdom and generosity and kindness and gentleness. All these things, all these words that, goodness, wouldn't we love it if people described us as having these qualities and yet when we think of ourselves, when we look in the mirror, when we see evidence of what we've done or monitor how we're feeling at any one time, these don't seem to be the words that come to mind. And indeed, if we strive too hard after them, they fall away as well. Try hard to be kind and you seem contrived. Try hard to be generous and you seem to be self-congratulatory. That's why virtue is connected up with spirituality in a deep way. We should pray to be kind and gentle and courageous. And we should know as we pray that we're never going to quite get there. But not quite getting there is no reason to give up on praying. Indeed, it's one of the reasons that we pray about anything at all. It's because of its unattainability. And so once again, we find that prayer is a way of staying with something that seems impossible beyond our grasp, beyond our reach, and yet vitally important. We grow in virtue partly because of the impact that others have had on us, partly because we've got something of an intention. We want to be kind. We want to be courageous when the time comes. And partly because we have done that thing which is a kind of making an effort but isn't an effort of opening ourselves to the forming grace of God. And that's what this week is about. Opening ourselves to the forming grace of God that our characters may be shaped by the kind of virtues that are at the heart of the New Testament. Lord, pray that I might grow in humility and help me not to mind when you knock the rough edges off me. Help me to become more down to earth. Help me to be more the person you've created me to be, to be more fully my humble and ordinary self. Because it's only in that way that I can properly serve your will and your purpose and do my bit in allowing your mission to flourish and your kingdom to come. It sounds odd to say we should pray for virtue, but that's exactly what I'm inviting you to do this week. <laughs>